All right, in this video, we would like to calculate the sample size for independent t-test, but we don't know about the effect size, and we just only know about the samples from previous study. So basically, you know, if we um, do not know about the effect size from previous study, we can use here for medium effect size 0 0.30. But again, as some reviewer, they are also strict with the effect size for the calculation of the samples. So you just need to have preference, a reference from previous study. So first thing to do, we need to calculate the effect size based on the samples from a previous study. And the second one, that we need to calculate the sample size based on the calculations. So we go to the test family here, t-test, of course, and we go to the statistical test. We use uh, here, independent means, two groups. And uh, here, for the type of power analysis, first we need to calculate the effect size, right, based on the samples. Here we go. And let's say from previous study, for the experimental study, they have, let's say, 56 samples. It's quite big. And for sample size for the control group, they have 52 samples. And for the power, they use 0 0.8. And then for tails, they use two tails. And here for the significance, 0 0.05. So based on these parameters from previous study, how much the effect size? So we calculate now. So the effect size, the 0 0.54, so it's quite high effect size can see from here and once we know about the effect size then we go to the primary to calculate the sample size for our study right so keep in mind is 0 0.54 right so we choose primary here so the g power directly put it here 0 0.54 right and here for our study we just only want to use the tail, only one tail, because we just only have a hypothesis that the experimental group have a higher effect than the control group or have significant effect than the control group. And for the power, we use 0 0.8 and significant the same, 0 0.05, but for the allocation ratio, we use the default one. Right? So how many samples that we use for the, for the study? So for our study, we have, you know, for the experimental 43, control for 43. So the total 86 samples. So that's the result of the sample size based on the effect size from a previous study. All right, so thank you very much for watching.